Hello everyone, this is Curtis with We Wacker Lawn Care. Hey, today is Friday and I decided to come out and do something today. I've been in the house all week and I ain't been doing nothing, but working around the house, cleaning up, you know the same routine. Clean up, vacuum, all of that, wash clothes, fold clothes, hang up clothes, pay bills, stuff in that nature. I haven't really, that's, that's all. Looking at more television, looking at YouTube, that's basically what I've been doing. That's what you do when you retire. Take it easy, don't do nothing. Just take it easy. And that's what I've been doing. But anyway, uh, I got a I got a text from a customer and they asked me if I would, would come over and take care of the lawn. Actually, I got two. And I was like, oh, okay, I'll go on and do it, but not really wanting to do anything. But I'll go on. Since I wasn't doing anything, I said, well, I'll go on and do this. So that's what I'm doing. And let, let me give y'all a view of it, okay? The lawn that I'm going to take care of, okay? As you can see, how all the other lawns have been looking to uh, us, it's, it's just been so hot. But uh, let's take a look at this one. Okay, here we go. As you can see, this is the way this your lawn looks. You see, there's not much to do to it. It's just got some sprigs in it, but I'm just gonna just see if I can shape it up a little bit for the customer and all. But you see the grass right here. You see how it's still brown right here. You hear that cushy sound. So grass hasn't been growing. It's just been bad. It's a uh, uh, hot, hot summer. So, uh, Let's take a look at the back. See, it's high right there. And uh, the other parts of it is just all brown. So see, oh yeah. Okay, so see, this is the way it looks. Oh God, it's just, ugh. It's nothing really to do to them. And wow, it's just been a hot, hot, hot summer and grasses hasn't been growing due to all of this hot heat so uh i'm gonna see what i can do i'll i'll get this here a little bit cleaner for the customer you know they just uh, see that one across the street over there look at that uh, now the other week a little rain came got a little shower of rain and that's what happens. You get a little shower, and when that happens, then the grass just pops up. These little sprigs of weedy, weedy grass. Uh, I got this one, and then let's see. Yeah, there's another. Yeah, right there on that side there. Uh, okay. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna see if I can get this one all done. I'm gonna was man it's tend to get hot guys i'm already breaking a little sweat here so i don't plan to be out here too long i got to get back in the ac oh man y'all know i'm retired i ain't supposed to be doing this but i'm just gonna do it <laughs> you know i'm gonna do it stay tuned stay tuned <clears throat> okay guys i got the more off the truck that's right i have my right 32 walk behind that I'm gonna be using here to get all of this here all mowed down for the customer. Now I've already taken and edged up everything around the sidewalk, the driveway, and around the foundation of the home, and around the fence in the backyard. Already taken care of that. So now I'm just gonna mow everything all over as you can see right here as the mower is going over it and getting everything all mowed up for the customer it's just so hot it's been a very hot summer here and i tell you it has been hot yes it has been a hot 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 summer and for doing lung care oh it done any justice because we need some rain here some good rain to uh get this grass back up it would definitely help out so this is, has been a very very bad year for doing lawn care here in texas because this has been so hot here i mean oh man 100 sometimes i even think it was a couple of times where it got up to about 115 and i was like oh no i don't know parts of that so and i've definitely been in the house in the air condition taking it easy oh yeah you know, just staying in that AC because I was like, oh no, no, this is one of these years that, uh-uh, 
Now I know last year I was out there doing it and it got hot. And I actually run and get myself sick out there in that hot heat that uh, I think it got up to like 100 and something. And I got uh, dehydrated and uh, I was like, hey, I can't keep doing this. I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling that. That was like nothing nice. So I was like, just let me. <laughs> just let me finish out this one here, man. That bad, man. I was like, oh. Hey, guys, I, 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 I know a lot of you say, I, he, he ain't retired. Yeah, I'm retired, guys. I haven't done really much of anything this year. And basically, you know, these are things where customers that, I don't know, they like to keep in contact with me and see what I'm doing and all, which is basically, I ain't doing nothing but at home, you know, taking it easy. Because I'm like, nah, this is over with. And I'm like, you know, I not depending on an income from lawn care it's like no 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 because it, it, i mean you know i don't do enough lawns it's, it's like you don't do enough i mean that ain't nothing this is just something just to do to uh, get a little exercise get me to walk around a little bit you know because i'm thankful that i can still walk around and still you know move and do some things so that's basically what this is i remember uh I put out a, a video there. I think it was weekend last Saturday. Me uh, taking care of Lun for a customer, and uh, I got a lot of comments and all. And I remember one comment, and the guy was like uh, saying that uh, I would never uh, quit. He just got to do one more. He was saying in reference to the way his dad was uh, doing lawn care, and uh, he yes. You know, his dad kept doing it, and uh, the way it was, it was kind of, I got kind of sad about it because he, he was telling me, you know, his dad passed, and he had his uh, grandson with him, and all. he just had to go and do another one, and I was like, oh my, you know, and he was like thinking that, you know, you just can't leave it alone. Well, guys, it's not that. It is not that. I, I mean. What it is for me, you have to be in good health to uh, tackle this this lawn care. I mean, it's, it's some hard work. I mean, the days get long. I mean, it, you know, you start mowing a number of lawns. Ooh, it gets to you quick. That sun be working with you because it's, what it does is it drains you. So you drink plenty of water, but it's still draining. So you're going to get tired. And... It, if you're not in shape to handle this, then you, sh you don't push yourself. It's like, you know, if I get over hot, what I'm saying, trying to say is if I get overheated, I would just say, hey, I got to get in my truck. I'm going to turn that AC on. I'm like, hey, I'll come back another day at a time, you know. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I would never just push myself until I hurt myself. No, no. So I'm in... No, I'm in shape. I can do this because I've done it for a number of years. And um, it ain't the work that gets you. You know, what happens is you just have to take care of yourself. I mean, uh, you know, eat and uh, get the proper sleep and, you know, just take care of yourself. I mean, if you don't feel good, don't do it. And that's what happens a lot of times. People force themselves to keep doing something knowing that they don't feel like doing it and they just do it anyway no that's not the way to do it if it's something that you don't feel like doing don't do it you know because it, it's not worth it I mean don't force yourself you're not feeling well just tell someone I'm not feeling well I feel like I do it. can I do it at another time and if they're not acceptable if you're doing it at another time then hey that's not um was I would say that's not the customer for you because you got feelings too and they feel like hey I gotta have it now then hey they need to get somebody else because you don't want to get out here and, and hurt yourself well, that's one thing I'm no person was not going to hurt yourself you worked hard I worked hard at doing these lines but no I, I know when to back off you know and it's like forget this it's, you can feel it I mean you can feel it you know, it'd be like just one more no. Because the money is not that good. It's not that good to damage yourself. I mean if you 
if you all sick and you trying to earn some money by cutting lawns and you're sick, you're going to deplete that in no time. Because, it, I mean, running back and forth to the doctor for this and that, you know, and a lot of people have, you know, just a lot of uh, illness going on in the body. It's not working. So you don't, you don't want to do that. You want to stay in good shape, physical fit shape. Get up, walk, exercise, eat your nice meal, and just take it easy. I mean, not doing some strenuous work, you know. <laughs> but I didn't want the guy to think that I, I was out. A lot of people say you can't leave it alone. <laughs> that ain't it. No, I can leave it alone. Trust me, guys. I didn't always do that. I know what it's like to uh, work in an office environment and make a lot of money doing nothing, just sitting around, going to meetings. And they uh, would, you know, pay you uh, a, a lot of money sitting around and going to these meetings where they make big decisions. And all. I, I, you know, um, but that also was not healthy for me because uh, just sitting around, not moving around, I was gaining a lot of weight and, you know, just starting to have health problems, deterior deterioration of my body. I was not as strong as I am. From, uh, I wasn't as strong back then working in the office environment as I am now where I can, I can stand on my feet all day and, you know, mow 10 to 15 lungs. I couldn't do that when I was working in the office environment. I would tie out. I'd be so tired. I'd be like, oh, man, oh, why can't I do this? Can I make it through this? Ah, I didn't feel like that. But from this, walking and eating right and you know get the proper rest and all uh you know i would say a benefit you know i feel i feel good that's why i come i can do it <laughs> now i ain't gonna joke about the heat i don't feel good about being out in the heat but uh you get used to it and you just keep on uh working it i mean you need some physical movement our bodies are designed to move. It's like, yeah, if you don't move and eat right and take care of yourself, yeah, I mean, that can be fatal. You know, I mean, yeah. Now, this is doing lung care. This is not a, a type of job that uh, you need to be smoking or drinking. No, because I don't smoke and I don't drink. Now, those would be very hard if I would do something like that because what that would do to you is that sun will dehydrate your body and you're pushing yourself against something that you can't because you uh, have this drug in your body it's liquor it would be toxic so and it's hot and that stuff heats up in you and oh man because you know what I'm saying is I, I've had guys and I know knew from being around them that they were smoking and that they were drinking and you know trying to help me do some lung care work they would tie out I mean quick they were like oh man they out of breath I feel bad for them because I'm like nah man nah man <laughs> you know this is just not one of these types of jobs that you can do that you can safety comes first and I mean you got to take care of your body and, that, and that's, that's the main thing take care of your body do your personal hygiene I mean, keep yourself clean, keep some deodorant on you and everything, and smell good, and uh, look good, look presentable and stuff. Look, I mean, when you go out here, you want to look like you, you're you ready. You don't mind doing a good job for somebody. And and that's, you know, that that's, they'll keep coming, they'll keep calling you back to come do something else for them, you know. And, and you know, because people be looking, they, they know if you feel like doing this or not. They can tell. But anyway, guys, hey, I'm finna get back. I am, I'm, I'm up here. I got the more back on the truck here. So that's about to wrap that up for uh, getting that. Now what I'll do is I'll take and I'll blow everything off since I got the more back here. All right, stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. All right, guys, it got me out here sweating. I tell you, woo, I'm sweating. Guys, it got hot so quick. Ah, but let me give y'all a quick view of the way everything looks. 
Okay, as you can see, this is the front of it. Okay, so you see I got the front, and I trimmed that in the flower bed there. And over here, I managed to uh, get the side all taken care of, as you can see right here. Got that all mowed up and everything. Now we're gonna walk back here to the back. Oh boy, that heat, that heat ain't playing. It's warming up again today. Yeah, I think yesterday was about a hundred and it was 102 something like yesterday. So uh, let's walk back over here. Here we go. This is the way the back looks. As you can see, right here. This is overall of the back. Got it all nice clean. Trim all the way around the foundation. Got the fence all trimmed up and all. So just giving y'all an overview of the way everything turned out after uh, getting it all edged up, trimmed up, mowed up, and all of that. So, so that's it for this one, guys. Ah, ah, I'm glad to get this one over with. Okay, so now let's see what else. We're gonna head off and see about another one. And uh, yeah, oh, I got some weeds right here. See, some, this here stuff here, guys. You have to, sometimes I'll just pull it up for the customer. Cause they just need some weed and this kind of stuff here that messes up the lawn. But I try to help them out. I'll pull it up for them, you know, just to help them get some of them weeds up out of there. Anyway, guys, like I say, let's take off and see about getting another one done. Okay, guys, I just showed up at another one and, uh, well, grass hasn't been growing and it's just, the other week when it rained, it just shot up. I know it was the grass was thirsty, very thirsty for some water. And so it shot up. So let's take a look at it. It's this one here, I've shared it before, but let's take a look at it. Okay, it's this one right here, as you can see. This is the way it looks. A lot of overgrowth real quick. Oh God, looks bad. But as you can see, this is the condition that it's in. So I'm gonna see what I can do. I try to clean it up. Yeah, it's uh, it's just overgrown. Some of it, I'm gonna spend a few minutes here taking care of this here side, and then the side on the other over there. Now I'm not gonna waste too much time. I'm gonna uh, just see if I can get in here and get it all mowed down, and then trimmed up and everything, and get on away from here. All right. So I'm just sharing this little portion with y'all for right now. So, uh, let me get in here and get this one done. I don't, I, like I said, I ain't gonna waste no time. This is, it, I, I don't know, it looked like it's gonna rain. I know they were seeing that, uh, I don't know, 20% chance and looking back over there, up in the sky, it looks like it's kind of cloudy over there. So, we may get some rain here, I don't know. But I ain't gonna take no chances, so I'm gonna see if I can get it all taken care of right quick. Y'all stay tuned, I'll give you an after view of it, okay. All right, guys, I'm back. I did manage to get everything mowed, is and trimmed up and blown off and uh, uh, tied now. Oh yeah, I got the hedges all trimmed. Oh, while I was working, I thought it was gonna rain. I did get a few sprinkles. It dropped and the cloud, it turned dark and then, well, it went away. Anyway, I got it mowed up, guys. This is the way it looks. See, we got it all mowed up and front and back, and then I got the hedges trimmed up and stuff like that. And then this over here, as you can see right here, got it all trimmed up on the outside out here. So hey, uh, and on the other side, I got it out, got that all mowed, and trimmed up, and everything. And that's all of the dervish that was left. I filled up the trash can with that. Oh man, guys! So I got it. It's hot out here now. <laughs> But now it's time to, it's time for me to go back in, take a hot shower and get into the uh, AC here. Oh yeah, I gotta go back and relax now. Enough of this. All right, gotta go guys, bye.